Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we will build a 19th century monastery together. We will go through every building stage of this build and I will give my best to help you build your own unique version of it. Enjoy the video! As usual we are gonna start off with the block palette. For the walls we will mainly use this combination out of white concrete and white wool. We will also add in some patches out of stripped birch log and birch planks and on the bottom rows we will use stone. For the roof I went with the color green, I decided to use green wool, green concrete and green terracotta and also some lime terracotta. And in between all of these blocks I decided to spice it a little up and add in those mossy cobblestone stairs. I chose to build this monastery on a small hill. The biome doesn't really matter in my opinion. We will start off by removing all nearby trees. Next we will make the layout. I decided to make a main shape for the monastery itself and two connected buildings for the people who live there. I would also suggest adding a few squares which will be towers later. Next we put up the walls. On the lower height levels we will use stone. And from a certain height we will go with white wool and white concrete. Use a certain height for each building, but of course make sure to make the shape of the monastery the highest. I decided to go with a pretty big scale for this build, but of course you can make it in a way smaller scale. Now that we are done with the walls, we can continue by adding outlines for the windows and doors. I went with a combination of 4x2 and 4x3 block outlines for the windows. I also decided to add some smaller window variations by placing two quartz stairs above each other. For the passage between one of the buildings and the monastery I decided to remove the walls and instead add some pillars and arches. For the towers I went with 1x2 block outlines for the windows. To finish the structure off we will add some birch patches along the entire building. Now we will place the roofs. For the two smaller buildings I decided to go with a common 1x1 one one block slope. For the small passage though I decided to go with a very flat roof. On the other hand for the monastery I would suggest going with a rather steep roof, making it look more powerful. For the towers we will go with a very steep roof as well.
Next up is adding some decoration and detail. For this build we will consistently add a row of bird stairs above and under each window layer all around. Only for the small passageway and the towers we will use slabs instead of stairs. Next we will finish off the windows. Place some quartz stairs at both upper corners of each window to give it a small arch. Add some white glass on the inside of the windows and finish them off by adding those small grids out of birch trap doors. For the tower windows I decided to simply place two fences and white glass on the inside. As a last detail we will place some crosses and beams by using birch fences on top of every roof. Now we will add some detail to the surroundings. Of course we need a nice entrance to our monastery, therefore I decided to build a curved bridge like entrance path. Of course we don't want the people who live here to fall off the cliffs. That's why we will add a fence and a small wall out of stone blocks, stairs, slabs and walls. I also decided to add a small path out of stone and gravel to the garden of this build. Next we will make the cliff look more realistic. Therefore we will add some stone patches all over the dirt cliffs. On the bottom of the cliffs we will place some stone slabs. Do this all around the build. Of course you want to add some nature to the build, that's why we will place some flowers and grass all around the monastery. As a last step I decided to add some trees now and then around the building. For the trees I used spruce fences for the trunks and of course spruce leaves. I tried making them look very thin and tall. That's it for this video. I hope you're happy with the outcome of this build. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any further building videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.